Greetings, I'm Undone Builder. I recently released a shop system from about a year ago, and it was designed by my company's CTO, user T-O-X-Z. Great fellow. And it's become a bit old for our company, so I released it to all of you for you to use as you see fit in your games. So this is a tutorial on how to use it. It's a CAD complex, so I decided to make it a video. As you'll see when you import it into the game, you'll have this little fellow here, as it says in the Explorer, ungroup it. And from there, you'll get a bunch of other things. Um, in, in the custom leaderboard, this facilitates it all. You can see when you join the game, uh, you'll have your knockouts, wipeouts, your coins, which is important, and your rank. To change the rank, or what group the rank is from, simply open up the custom leaderboard script, scroll down to right here, change that to your group ID, and voila. The instructions, those are unimportant since that's why you're watching this video. You can delete that. The display in PC, also unimportant. You can change that to whatever you want. I mean, it's your game, so you can delete him if you wish. Then you'll find this nifty little model called Put These in Lighting, in all capitals, meaning it's important. So you'll move that into lighting, and you'll ungroup it. You'll see a bunch of tools pop up. Those will be important later. For now, just ignore them. Also in Workspace, you'll find it Put These in Replicated Storage, all in capitals, meaning it's important. Do it again, same thing, ungroup, voila. Last thing in workspace before we begin on the main core of the thing is this magic shop thing. This is very important. When you go into the game, that little invisible thing is what people will touch to open up the shop. That's really important. You'll put that where you want for the shop. Simple as that for that. Now then, to get into the bit of complexities. In replicated storage, there's this magic shop now. So this is the GUI that pops up when the player touches the brick. Um, it's pretty simple. You've got the exit button. Don't touch that. You've got the name. You can change that to whatever you want, whatever the shop's name is. Don't make it too long. Currently, it's just Merlin's Magic Shop. And you have three potions. These are the things you can buy. They're named potions because this was originally for an RPG game. Just leave it like that. Inside each one, you'll find a bunch of variables. Uh, don't touch the buy script. But the cost, you can change to however many coins you want this thing to cost. Uh, doesn't matter, depends what it is. Item name, this, this is very important. You must have the item name be the exact thing of the tool that is in lighting. You can only buy tools, and they must be in lighting. So you'll notice this one is for the Fire of the Gods. Exact name, right there. If that's wrong, then when the player buys it, it just won't appear for them. These little name things, these are just what show up on the GUI when it pops up. You'll see these, these little variables here. Well, those, those are what these are. The cost, that's the cost. You just change the text, it'll change it. Uh, these don't really matter besides uh, just looking cool and giving a little more detail on what you want to buy. There's three of these, they all function the exact same. If you're an advanced scripter, you can make more and mess with the GUIs to make, I don't know, six, nine, however many you want to do. But for now, three, that's good. So that's how to edit that. Put the tools you want in lighting and make sure that the name in the variable is the exact thing as the tool. Now the last thing we need to focus on is this little magic shop here. If you want more than just this magic shop, or you want to rename it, copy the magic shop and copy the GUI in here. So rename that, whatever you want. I'm going to call it Weapon Shop. Just because. Now, in game, you want to rename this new thing, uh, whatever you want. Like I said, I'm going with Weapon Shop. So I'll name it that. You'll open it up. Ignore the script, but this little variable right here, that's important. You want to change that, the value of that, to the GUI's name that you've newly made, Weapon Shop, 
or as I'm calling it. Now, when a player touches this brick, it'll take them to the weapon shop GUI, which you can change to be different tools, different variables, whatever, instead of the magic shop. If they touch this one over here, it'll take them to the magic shop. Nice thing about the system is you can have two ways to get to the magic shop if you're lazy like I am sometimes. So if they touch either of these, it'll take them to the magic shop. And that's how you make more of them. That's about it. It's, it's as simple as you can make a shop GUI. So hope you enjoy. I'm Undone Builder. Please like and subscribe.